Good afternoon. Um, today with Christian Pfeiffer, Global Director for Ligna. Christian, how are you doing? Thank you, Apertim. I'm doing very fine, to be honest. Uh, and the team is fine. And uh, yeah, all Deutsche Messe is so far safe and sound. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to welcome people again here in Hanover. That's very nice. As we already know, it's a, it's a very tough decision from your part, I believe, to call off Ligna physical uh, trade conference, Ligna 21. But I'm sure like you had no other alternative, no option to continue in this pandemic situation, which is still keeping the world not very stable situation. So how do you plan to promote the exhibitor with digital networking? You're exactly right. This was a tough decision um, indeed. And um, as you know, Ligna is all about presenting machinery, plant and equipment life and running um, in a in a life demonstrated situation to experience the innovations. And um, this is something that requires a lot of planning, a lot of logistic, and of course, investment from our exhibitors. So we took a responsible decision together with the market and um, decided together with VDMA, our co-exhibitor, not to hold Ligna in 2021. So what we are doing now is uh, developing a format that helps our exhibitors and of course the visitors to stay in contact in Ligna year um, in a virtual way. But I tell you what, it's not possible to digitalize Ligna. This is not our, our target because it's frankly not possible. So we're doing something different and I think the market can be very um, excited about that. Well, if I ask you something, you called off Ligna 21 after a lot of discussions, I'm sure with uh, your organization, with VDMA, and of course with major, major clients, major exhibitors. Can I ask you, what are the main reasons you called off? Well, the main reasons are, as I said, you need to take decision, decisions now to um, order logistic processes, to build, to, to order stand building, to build machinery, to bring them here to Hanover and, for this, you need security. That's the, the, the main point because um, our exhibitors are businessmen and they need to um, incorporate certain risks. And the risks right now here in Europe and all over the world is that by um, end of summer or beginning of um, autumn, it is not clear that we have a herd immunity. Um, and a, um, yeah, I would say mostly vaccinated population um, in the countries of Europe or our um, yeah, target visitor countries. And it is foreseeable that certain countries, certain people um, or certain nations might go into a quarantine situation going to Germany or going back from Europe or um, however, it is not foreseeable exactly how it will work. So um, we decided together with the market um, that the situation right now where certain decisions have to be taken um, is too riskful to uh, decide um, or to take the decisions that need to be taken right now. Well, uh, yeah, that's for sure. Uh, Christian, one thing we are really eager to understand and know as this is the first time you are doing it, can you tell us more about content platform? and uh, like Deutsche Messe will offering in September in place of the real physical Ligna 21. Uh, to be honest, uh, many details kept a secret more or less until um, 11th of May, where we'll have uh, the conference, Ligna outlet Ligna where you can not only as a press um, person um, register, but also register as an exhibitor or a visitor to see what we are planning. But um, to give you a sneak peek of what we are planning is of course, the basic information that Hannover Messe two weeks ago was a great success for us. We had more than one and a half thousand exhibitors going into live streaming, going into um, many videos, networking. And um, this is what the industry um, really needed right now. And yeah, really um, helped setting up. This is uh, because the, the vision business is something where the, where the customer, where the exhibitor is, of course, part of the product. So um, what they are showing when it comes to innovation and to um, yeah, 
excitement. This is something they need to produce with us on a platform and we are going to, to put this into the world. And this is what Hannover Mess did. And they reached out to more than 90,000 people. And the beauty of all is that there were more than 70% not in our database yet. So those people never came to Hanover before. And that's great. That's a great news um, for an industrial fair that uh, took place in Hanover for more than 70 years. And um, yeah, we look out um, on 11th of May um, towards our format that um, yeah will be a yeah, Ligner-based format, to be honest. So um, woodworking is, of course, key. And along our focus topics of Ligner 2021, we will create a platform that reaches out to the world. And I hope we can, as we do with Ligner, connect woodworking, innovation, experience, and yeah, the best network you can get. Well, have you already created a template or a demo and discussed with a few main exhibitors to get the feedback? If you, if you have done so, what is the feedback? Well, what we did before we start the planning and the product development, um, we asked many, many exhibitors and more than, um, more than 5,000 visitors um, from all different industries to, to, to get the feedback um, what the feeling is about this, yeah, about this, what, what's the look and feel, what do they need, what, um, how are they searching for information, how would they want it to, to be guided through something that we are setting up. And all these, these feedbacks that actually many of them came from the woodworking background, but of course Hannover Messe and Domotex and other show backgrounds like Interschutz and, um, and uh, shows like that, um, different industry, basically from different industry business people. Yes, exactly. And they were um, they were incorporated in what we developed. Um, so there was a structured development process before we um, installed it um, at all. That's great. Well, uh, Likna Preview is now Likna Outlook, I believe. Uh, what can we expect to learn at the Outlook? There will be uh, exhibitors we can interact, like how it will be. Can, it, can you give me some idea? We changed the name because um, the Ligna preview was, um, I would say, a three, three element blended uh, format where the press could um, ask questions towards the organizers, but also had an impulse um, keynote speech from a person relevant to the industry or from the industry. And um, of course, the exhibitors could inform and ex give experience about their about the innovation to be shown at Ligna. So what we are doing now is, um, as we firstly postponed Ligna and now said we're not having the physical part of Ligna in, in September, we will give you, of course, the reasoning about that. We may will, of course, talk about the marketing situation. And of course, um, we will have an outlook of what is going to happen in September, where the key facts are relevant um, or what key facts are relevant for the exhibitors and of course for the visitors. Well, Christian, I'd like to ask you one question uh, because as, all, as a Deutsche Messe does something, it is always best of the best, you know, we believe that, like as you do Ligna. So what would be the advantage of Ligna digital format in compared to rigors to other digital format is available on the market? Thank you very much um, for the compliment, actually. What um, we designed the, the, the platform for is um, that we know that customers, that our exhibitors are using, for example, marketing automation. They use um, CRM system on a very professional level. So they are in a constant need of content for their marketing automation, hence they need they need content for, for example, addressing a certain target group and events like this, um, for example, the one we um, shown with Hannover Messe Digital Edition two weeks ago, um, is that the exhibitors can have a very long term of social media content, newsletter content produced within the um, world of a uh, digital, digital event participation. So 
you can, of course, when you when we have the event in September for Ligna, for example, um, of course, four weeks ahead, exhibitors can make marketing out of that. They can send out newsletters and direct the potential customers towards their experience they are planning to, to go live with. And um, then, of course, the part during the show and, of course, after the show with the leads you have, you create content, you have the option to get your business out there in a social way for social networks and um, especially the content creation for at least three months, I would say even four months is done for, um, yeah, for uh, your target groups. And of course, for your innovation, you wanted to send out um, to the uh, customers in woodworking. That's great. That's really nice to know. And we are eager for Ligna Outlook to get more information about what's actually happening in September. I'm sure that time you will demonstrate the system, the Ligna Connect. Looking forward to see you there. And yes. um, virtually again. Exactly. And do you have anything to say to our readers or to our like viewers of this video interview? Well, we are. Um, yeah, very devastated that we had to um, firstly postpone Ligna and then take it um, from the market for you, for ourselves, and of course, for our exhibitors. Um, that's the first time in more than 40 years history of Ligna, but be sure we will be back even stronger and we will offer you something that um, I would say will uh, make you happy in regards to your technology um, yeah, thirst and um, woodworking technology thirst, of course. And um, yeah, I hope you bear with us. Stay tuned um, with, uh, with the network. Um, and um, we're looking to greet you either way in the uh, digital world or here in Hanover. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Christian. That was really nice. I, I can understand how busy you are, but still you manage sometimes. Thank you very much and stay healthy and stay safe.